everyone. Uh, today we're not cooking. We are spicing and herbing and we're going to tell you about a uh, new competition we've got going. So this is Ben. Hi everybody. We're back together again. We so thought we'd do back. it together since I'm not cooking or making anything exciting. But guys, this is going to be a real short one. Uh, we just essentially want to tell you about this new competition that we've got going on. We do, and if you have any questions, we've got the iPad down here, so if you need to ask anything, um, please do, and we'll do our best to answer. So, the competition is to go into the draw, it's a random draw, to win a Mrs. Rogers Herb and Spice Pack, along with some dishy products. products. So, so dishy. are they two separate ones, or are they one combined? Oh no, this is one combined oh, price. Oh, so it's a pretty good price. Yeah. So you can win a dishy product pack along with some herbs and spices. So Dishies um, produced by the, uh, released by the same team that um, from Mrs. Rogers. So you know it's good quality. Uh, you can find it at uh, homeware stores and if you uh, have a local homeware stores, a store who doesn't stock it, then please do mention it. And if you need any help finding it, just drop us a line via the, e uh, via the website at mrsrogers.com. So this, there you go. This now is you, my fave. That one there. Oh, they used, which is the one you used? You haven't that, got the dish out that you used for the pie. No, I haven't got the pie dish out because everybody's seen that. This one I wanted to show because sometimes people might think, well, that's too big for a pie dish. I but had, this was, was thinking a, that. This was a plate. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be big enough. Big <laughs> enough <laughs> no, for, they, oh, you oh. would need a bigger pie. <laughs> it should be pies. a good pie for I someone who wanted to do a massive apple pie to feed sort of 16 people. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, or I... Me. Or you. Anyway, I um, used this the other day and I did a really nice fruit platter that yeah. I was taking to someone's house. So I wanted something with a bit of an edge so it wasn't going to go whoop, whoop in the car and spread the fruit everywhere because I look good. bought really yummy blueberries and things like that. And it yeah. just looks so pretty. Yeah. And the, um, the best part about it is you could drop it on the floor. It won't dent, but I mean it might dent, but it won't break. So because it's enamel. It's nice and light. Nice and light. So, the competition is, I so, to win a Dishy Prize Pack along with a Mrs. Rogers Herbs and Spices Pack. And what we want to know is your favourite herb or spice. Because um, there's a lot of them, but I'm sure that you may have a favourite that you use in a recipe in particular, or you just have it on its own. I don't know, smash back some, some cinnamon. Wow, couldn't even say cinnamon. Cinnamon by itself i don't know depends what you do so let us know your favorite herb and spice and you may actually want to also post a photo of a recipe because uh if you are randomly chosen and you have a photo of a recipe in the page in the post as well you may get something a little bit special so um, i'm not going to tell you what that is but uh so go to a little bit of extra effort if you're a winner you may get something special now what's your favorite spice and herb i've got Please. four <laughs> Okay, well, four's all right. So you're four, only, if you're entering, you only now one. choose one. Oh, sorry. Um, but I could choose one. I really love the um, kiwi, the kiwi blend. Oh, that's with the uh, kawakawa and the with, yeah, yeah, harapito. Yep. Yeah, uh, it, it's the kiwi roast blend. And you can tell that we use it a lot. Cause because it's nearly, all gone. <laughs> it's nearly all gone. Um, so we had that last night with. I love uh, it. Just, on, on just steak, winter steak. Oh yeah, yeah we've had it on steak. We've had it on lamb. We've mm -hmm. had. We've done the Potatoes. meat thing. Yep. But yeah, I love it on kumra. So I just quickly sort of give them a wash, yep. leave the skin on, cut them in slices. Actually, sorry, just to interrupt. If you want to pop down while we're live now, your favourite herb and spice, it will it will count as an entry. Yeah. So if you just want to type in my favourite herb or spice is whatever. This. And it can be one of our blends. It doesn't have to be a Just rosemary a, or yeah. whatever. It can be one of the blends, like Kirstie's saying. Yeah. So the kiwi roast could be your yeah. favourite herb and yeah. spice blend. Just yeah. let us know. So pop it down in the, in the comments. It'd be interesting to... To see comments as we're as we're um, talking as well. So anyway. Sorry. So yeah, I just I just stick my kuma in the microwave for sort of three four minutes mm -hmm. uh, with this on both sides, oh. and then I just stick it in the oven because normally I'm roasting a chicken or something. Just Sharon, to Sharon keep uses warm. that in her use, yeah. uses those herbs in her cooking. Which yeah. herbs, <laughs> Sharon? All of them. You're gonna have all of these. All of the herbs. This is you have to be more specific for your entry. Uh, so yep. So that, no, that was the one you made the so, other night, the kumara with Yeah, the, with the kumara, oh, with it, so that was good. really nice with roast chicken. And we're trying to be a little bit healthy, so there was no gravy or anything. So it just kind of gave, gave a bit of flavour. Yeah. My other favourite is uh, the garlic and herb salt. Now, the kids love this one, because what I, well, I it, do too. Apparently you use it in everything. And 
I pretty much use it in yeah. everything. Um, because it doesn't have any heat in it, it is just mm. herbs and garlic and salt. Uh, so Rednecks likes paprika and cinnamon. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, Stuart says the kiwi roast blend sounds good. Yeah, it yeah. is. Cumin seeds. Hey, we're starting to get it going now. Cumin's okay. lovely. We yeah, don't okay. need to read we don't them need all to, out because I might do we've, got, we've got to tell people what we like. Okay, but I'll tell other, but people, anyway, other people like with the kids, I boil pasta, um, spiral pasta, and when it's done, I drain it, drizzle a little bit of uh, rice bran oil and a yep. good sprinkle of this. And our kids love it. Yeah, they, they smash just, it back. They just eat it up. Shona See? likes Italian herbs. Oh, uh, yeah. Gina, you, you have to choose one. If you're going to enter the competition, you have just to choose, choose one. one. Just choose one. one. That you Your use favorite the one. Most. Yeah, exactly right. Maybe one that you use the most. Yeah. One that's the most versatile. Now, I've, I'm going to cheat as well because you made this um, in a previous. Lo- oh no, we just did it as a. We post. didn't do it as a lot. We as did a it as a maximum post. curry. Maximum curry powder. Holy! It was like walking into an Indian restaurant <laughs> when uh, when Kirsty was. Smell a vision, you don't have it. So that uh, Jimmy likes kiwi roast blend, she loves it. With he loves it, sorry, with the tomato ragu. Now that's got mm. chili flakes, cloves, cumin, cinnamon, coriander, and cardamom all mixed up. So that's the mass one, and that is absolutely glorious. We had is, um, we cheated the other day and had Thai takeaway, and um, I don't think it was as good as your. No, it wasn't as flavorsome, wasn't as, flavorsome as, mine. as that. It was nice and fresh. Yeah. So, so have a look. That's back on uh, a post that we've done. So I think it was last month. Massaman curry time. It's beautiful. Um, but I'm just going to choose chili. Oh, because you do love chili. I do love my chili. I know you're not a hot. I you don't like do your it. hot spices, yeah. but you made. I wish or I could. We made a. Um, uh, what was it? The sauce. Because the, uh, the sriracha sauce. Sriracha's homemade sriracha sauce. Wait there. I, get I was it. going to say we can get it. And it was one of the things that we're actually consistently using. Jody loves Himalayan pink salt, and Jojo says favourite is coriander. Good on you, everybody. So there is homemade sriracha sauce. Now you can call it sriracha sauce because the people, the guy who invented sriracha sauce, didn't trademark it. So when you go into the supermarket and you see chips called sriracha this and sriracha that, it's fine, just out of note. So that is glorious. That's about, yeah. what, two weeks old now? Th- and yeah. it is... You said God, it's getting hotter. It's getting right? hotter every time I have some. We did put quite a lot of chilli in that one. So my favourite... Yeah, see, that's... Got, <laughs> whew, it's, it's getting hotter every time I have it. Um, Karen loves a beef, se- beef seasoning. Oh, cool. Oh, oh that's nice. nice. We don't use that as much. Seen, no, yeah. I we'll don't. We'll just have to give it a try. We Karen. will. Well done. Um, so yeah, homemade sriracha sauce. So and because you put the chili in it, and that I have yeah, that, I cooked it with the chili flakes. I have like, it pr- with all the other pretty stuff. much with every meal. Like yeah. you could have it on cereal, just because. No, you could. You could. You could. You could. I like, guess you could. you could. You can do anything. So that. So I'm going with chili flakes. There, they are my favourite. There. So what no, else? I, are we, what I else? also really love. Now you say this better than me. Ras el Chanut. Because. <laughs> Because it not Russell Hanute. Not Russell Hanute, oh, like I some say. Some like Russell Hanute. <laughs> yeah. Because it Gina, has. Gina's going with the Himalayan pink salt. Oh. It's what she uses the most. Yeah. Well, I see. Even that, like so when we're we. making the steaks, just seasoning on and the steak. Well, our kids like that too. Yeah. Because it's, it's not, not as salty, salty yep. as you know the normal sort yep. of iodized salt or table salt. Actually, watch out this weekend on Instagram. Um, go miss, uh, at Mrs Rogers NZ because um, I'm going to be making. Uh, ah. Massive, I, I rib fill it on the bone, and we're going to be doing some experiments with the salt by salting the steak the night before yeah. and leaving it overnight, uh, and then seasoning it off. Yeah. Um, because it's uh, Ben's birthday on Sunday, so he's allowed, so I'm allowed a special treat. I'm allowed a steak the size of a small child, um, so that, that's my. So I'm going to have to play with the, yeah. the pink salt and the standard salt and see how we go. So watch us on Instagram, anyway. Yeah. So anyway, my Russell hen out. Russell hen out. <laughs> um, <laughs> It is, yeah, I like it because it's got flavour. It has a little yeah. bit of kick. It's no more kick than like a sweet chilli sauce, which is yeah. pretty much my level threshold. But it is so good. Yeah, it's versatile, isn't it? It's almost as good as that. Not quite, but almost as good. And we used that on uh, our so buffalo good. wings. We did, yeah. For exactly right. that, the live we did when we did yep. like six dishes in ten minutes. So just to recap for the people who are joining us on, on the Facebook Live. So the competition is... Post your favourite herbal spice into the comments of this. Um, this will also um, do some promotion on this competition oh, as well. Can but it, can it also be like? Oh yeah, yeah, that? Can, yeah. Well, if you can, if you want to choose the um, what is it, the kiwi roast? You, yeah, you could choose a southern style chicken. So I don't know if people have seen this. 
the southern style chicken uh, product which is out in the stores now it's yeah. really good we did a uh, hamburger sorry no, chicken burger which was chicken breast with, with was it camembert, camembert wrapped, wrapped in bacon, bacon wrapped, in wrapped in chicken, chicken breast, breast. Deep fried. De deep fried, but with the stuff on it first, and it was so like good. looking at super southern fried crunch. Rednecks want to he's voting for cinnamon being his favorite. I think a lot of oh, people are going yeah. to choose cinnamon because it's so versatile. Do you know what? That was my next one. But what oh, right. sort of cinnamon? Not the salon, which is a softer flavor, or the or standard just the cinnamon. Standard cinnamon, because they're yeah. quite different in color as well. I don't know what I was doing with the hand cinnamon? Yeah. Weird. Sorry. <laughs> you were dreaming of oh, food. <laughs> yeah, I was. It was about dreaming of food. food. Dreaming of food. Cinnamon and <laughs> yeah, <nice. laughs> um. So yeah, I, I love the salon cinnamon, but that's because I tend to use it after. Like I use it on my coffee in the morning. Right. Or, you know, I dip Coffees my... in the morning. <laughs> coffee. Yeah. Or, or, you know, I'm, I'm a real pudding person, so that one is particularly yep. nice for after cooking. Whereas the um, just standard, cin cinnamon. standard cinnamon powder... Or cinnamon sticks are really good for cooking. John John in. says the southern style chicken sounds amazing. Yeah, and that yeah. recipe, John, have a look back on the Facebook lives. It was so good. Was but unreal. you could just do it with um, just standard chicken. Like it tastes yeah. really nice. Yeah. Um, I actually want to do oven a popcorn fry it, chicken. shallow fry it. Oh, okay. I want to do yeah, that. Yeah, I, I reckon. A popcorn okay, John, would you chicken. like us to do a popcorn chicken style using, that um, one. using the, the southern style? I'm going to use chicken thighs. And That's not popcorn. Uh, yeah, no, okay. chicken no, thigh. Like, no, because it's not like the fast food popcorn yeah. chicken. I want to do proper popcorn Catherine chicken. likes some mixed peppercorns. Oh, hey, well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's just a, your general sort of yeah. standard mixed peppercorns. And do you know what? The thing is, I, I actually love all the medium grinders Yeah. Um, because they're refillable. Well, you just, we, well just before we came on camera, we refilled all of these because they kept using them. <laughs> um, but they look pretty. Yeah. Like they, they're really pretty, and, and if you tend to overgrind, you go, oh, I only wanted three specs, you just Pop put the lid back on and go like that and save it for next time. So it's a really it's good. Actually, easy um, to use product. We did a video earlier on where, with the mixed peppercorns, um, Catherine, uh, at the, the factory, uh, how mm. we, we blend them. So they basically all go into this tumbler, and it's in one of the original videos that we posted a number of months ago. But we basically put the individual peppercorns, the different types, um, into this tumbler and it just turns and mixes them all up. It's quite cool. Actually, we watched a video the other day where they're doing the with same sprinkles. things with sprinkles. With rainbow um, sprinkles. So same sort of concept, where you have the different coloured sprinkles and it blends them all up. Obviously, <laughs> the sprinkles are not done in the same tumbler, same tumbler. as the peppercorn, because that would be <laughs> Neither is weird. the concrete. So, yes, yes. So, oh, wait, the Horopito and Kawakawa mix. We've got... Oh, yeah, that's some, this one, the Kiwi Herbs. Herbs. Jimmy? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's the that's the, yeah, the that's kiwi the roast. Kiwi roast blend. It's got the hotness of the of the herbs in there. Yeah. yeah Great with sausage rolls. Ooh, oh, nice. Okay, I know we're trying to eat better, but can we make sausage rolls for? Maybe we could just make the meat and not have the pastry on the outside. We did like no, a month and a half. No, that's not sausage roll. That's just a sausage. Stuff. Jimmy said sausage rolls. Okay. Not right. meat sure. roll. Give me a recipe, Jimmy. Jimmy, post the recipe up and we'll, we'll make that up. That sounds really good. I think and, it should well, be. Well, we used it the other day in bacon jam as well. Hey, you guys have got some really good ideas. Yeah, here's the, here's the thing. Keep going. Keep going because we love creating. But yeah. if you've got ideas as well, then, yeah. then let us know because we'd love to make that. We're going to do the sausage rolls. Uh, uh, we've got one from Alicia or Alicia, not sure. Um, smoked paprika and, and or cumin or cumin. Cumin. So what do you reckon? I don't know. You've got to make yeah. a choice. Yep. Between the two, which one? That's right. Pick one. And like I said before, so you're going to you're going into the drawer or the random prize drawer to win a dishy prize pack. So this is dishy products from the Mrs. Rogers team, um, along with a uh, herbs and spices pack as well. So it's a pretty good prize. And if you want to post up a photo of a recipe, then you can do that as well. So yes, yeah, Kirsty said, if you want to just let us know if you got any recipes that you want yeah. us to try, we're more than happy to do that. Yeah. That would be fun. Uh, and oh, can I just so this yeah, one your favourite, uh, my favourite. So this is um, just a really quick thing. So instead of having a bag of chips or something like that, um, you know, we're trying to be healthy. Again, we're trying to be healthy. Uh, Himalayan pink salt says Jody. Yeah, it's a it's a goodie. Okay, Jody, I got one for you. If you like the Himalayan pink salt or even just salt in general, so instead of buying chips, which are all different flavours, or even paying extra money for um, flavored for flavoured uh, what are they called peanuts? peanuts or mixed nuts. All I do is grab some standard peanuts, the unsalted ones, because they generally tend to be cheaper, 
And then I've got the chili lime salt. Yeah, you like the chili and lime. Chili but they do and do lime. the chim- chili, chili and, and Himalayan lime. as well. Yes, so correct. So, so this is, but this is my favorite. This is chili yeah. and lime. So how do we post a photo, Jimmy? Um, in the comment, you're able to do that. It's probably a little bit hard on the live. Um, but we'll work it out. I'll come back to you and post something. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. We may even put up an, a separate post and we'll take the competition from the two posts. So we'll probably end up doing that. So anyway, chili, lime, and salt, sea salt. Um, and then, do you want to hold that up just so people can see? So I literally just grind that into the nuts. Sometimes just put it in a little plastic bag um, to mix it up. And it'll, oh, so you can smell it. And then all of a sudden, you've got um, chili and lime. Chili and lime. <coughs> I got chili and lime. You got lime the chili? Oh, yum. Chili and lime flavoured um, peanuts. Peanuts. As opposed to paying $4 a bag for fancy pants. Um, It'll probably be more than probably We more just than don't buy fancy pants peanuts. I think that was about $1.90 or something for a whole massive kilo bag of cheap peanuts. Cheap peanuts. And then pay a couple of bucks for everything else. So, yeah, so give, give that a crack. Yeah. That's just really nice. So, there's some ideas. So, um, Jimmy, I see you've sent us a photo. Well done. Good stuff. Post away. Um, <laughs> so I just spat out some peanut. That was nice. <laughs> Shona says everyone is getting hungry. So yeah. good on you. Good on you. Have a great day. Have yeah. a, we're leading up we're halfway through the week. We're so nearly there. It's hump day. Uh, we won't go fifth. I don't mean that in a rude no. way. I just mean it's the middle it's of the, the middle week. It's the middle of the week. We're going up. Yeah. And then we can come we can down. Come down for the weekend. So we'll post the competition information up there after this live. But yeah. good luck. We really want to see um, some lots photos of if possible. Lots of entries. Hey, can you enter more than once? Yeah. Yes, you can. So I'm saying people, that now. Okay. But, but then, well, I just thought if people have got three or four different things that they like. Yeah, okay. And it's going to be a random draw. Yeah? It is going to be a random draw. So it's going to yep. be. So. Yeah. I don't just know. Change the rules now. That's fine. Well, I'm not. I'm, I was a question. And I said yes. So let's go with that. If you want to enter more than once, you can. Because it's going to be a random draw. <laughs> I think. <laughs> if we get spammers, it's going to be trouble though. There. Yeah. We'll work it out. So we'll, we'll put the actual final rules when we Carrie and Ben, or I presume Carrie is your name and Ben's the husband. Um, yeah, the, the the peanuts are great. Just sprinkle it. And with yeah. um, popcorn. Popcorn. Popcorn as well. We do it with popcorn a lot. So you could take um, some of the butter sales, chicken. And, or the butter the chicken butter is really good. really good on popcorn. Just sprinkle a bit of butter chicken on. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to sneak around and say goodbye. Okay. I'll um, press the button so you can say goodbye cool. there. Have a lovely, good luck in the competition, everyone. Well done. Can I enter? No. Oh. Is that because I've already got them all? Yeah, it is. Okay. It would be cheating. So guys, enter. Um, when are we finishing this competition? Chanel also likes paprika. Oh, paprika. paprika. When are we uh, finishing? In so a week's next, time. Yes. So. Oh, no, actually. Friday. Friday, yeah. Friday three week. Days. Fr- no, oh, three, three days? Three days. So this Friday? No, no, no over the weekend. We'll okay. finish it on Monday. Monday? Monday. This okay. coming Monday. So Monday, which is the 28th of August at... What time are we going to draw it? Midday. Midday? On Monday. Okay. Midday, Monday. At some time after midday, Monday, we will announce a winner because obviously it will take a little while just to go through it all, pick that random winner. So one person, guys, only one person is going to win this ultimate pack of dishy and herbs and spices. Cool. See ya. Bye.